Hey guys, Riley here with Dark Arrow. Today is July 1st and I have some fun projects going on with the control system. I'm gonna let you follow along as I work. Let's check it out. Okay, here's what we're working with. I have a bunch of components in the control system laid on the router table here, and I'm gonna be doing some bonding and fabrication steps in the build process. So the torque tube here, which is made out of carbon fiber, is going to get some uh, bell cranks bonded onto the end of the torque tube. I have another identical one over here. This one is already complete and curing right now. I mask off all the bond area and I'm just trying to keep it clean when I'm doing that. I seem to have an issue when I bond things together where I just get adhesive everywhere. And uh, so that's my little pro tip for you guys, mask off your bond area. I got a fresh batch of E120 adhesive in the mail. Uh, that's what we're gonna be using for the job. So that's this little guy here. So that's the bonding operation and then fabrication. I'm going to be making a push rod and that's gonna involve uh, drilling some holes and riveting this threaded insert into the end of this tube and cutting it to length, doing the same thing on the other side. I'll show you guys over on the computer what that's gonna look like. Here we go guys, we're looking at the on-shape CAD model for the control system. Whole bunch of the airplane not shown right now, but we have the bulkheads shown translucent. Those are the internal structural members in the fuselage. And then in amongst them, we have the push rods and torque tubes shown for the control system. So the little push rod I'm making today is this guy. This is for the elevator pitch controls. So I gotta drill the holes, install this threaded insert like that with some rivets. And then I'm also gonna be installing this bracket right here. This is made out of a quarter inch thick plate of carbon fiber that gets bonded in and it holds this uh, bell crank as well as this autopilot servo for the elevator system. So we're bonding in that today as well as uh, bonding these torque tubes here. These uh, join the pilot and co-pilot elevator controls. So bond those together today and then tomorrow I'm going to bond in these brackets so I can install those into the fuselage. So let's get over and do that bonding operation. Okay, there you can see it. I've got a lot of squeeze out action going on here, which is good. That means I have enough uh, adhesive holding it together. So I can always clean it up if I got excess squeeze out. That's not that big of a deal, especially with my awesome masking job. Just cleaning up all the excess. Now I'm just gonna throw some clamps on here to make sure it uh, all stays together nice and tight. And then I'll be able to do the other side. Okay, I'm gonna let these torque tubes tack up before I remove the masking tape. And then while I'm waiting for that to occur, I'm gonna move on to my push rod. So for my push rod here, I just have to cut the length of this tube to 31.5 inches. And then I have to match drill the holes for the threaded inserts and rivet the threaded inserts in. I'm gonna use my jigsaw to cut this to length because I just broke the blade on my bandsaw and I gotta order a new one. So we're going with the jigsaw. Wish me luck. Okay, I trimmed my tube to length and then I squared up the end using the disc sander, and then I deburred the ID and the OD of the tubing. And now I'm ready to match drill these holes so I can attach these threaded inserts.
Okay, here's the finished product for the elevator push rod. So I've got both threaded inserts riveted into the end of the tube, as well as uh, the spherical bearing rod end threaded into the insert. And the last thing I do anytime I make something is weigh it. So this unit weighs 223 grams. And that's all there is to making the elevator push rod. Okay, my torque tubes are all tacked up so I was able to remove the masking tape and left the clamps in place so these can cure overnight. So tomorrow I'll get to weigh these, get a final weight on both of them. Okay, this is the last thing I wanted to show you guys. This is that uh, servo bracket that I showed in the CAD earlier. And it also holds the elevator bell crank, which mounts through a bushing right here. I got this bonded in earlier and now it's all tacked up, removed the uh, masking tape. And then tomorrow I'm gonna put in a little bit of carbon angle reinforcement here to really tie this guy into the structure. Okay guys, that's all I have in the shop for today. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, today is July 1st, which is normally the month of AirVenture, but uh, this is not a normal year. 2020, we have AirVenture canceled because of the pandemic. So Keegan and River and I have been talking a lot about how we can still engage with the aviation community this month. And one of the ideas we came up with was posting a video every day in the month of July, just showing a little bit of what we've got going on. So this is the first video kicking that whole thing off, uh, but you can tune in tomorrow and the rest of the month to see our daily videos. And it's not necessarily all gonna be shot videos. We might show a little bit of behind the scenes or some other stuff we got going on in our lives. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.